Welcome to Animal Show. Today we'll be learning about Florence Nightingale. So, Florence Nightingale was the second of two daughters born to William Edward and Frances Nightingale. Florence was named after the city of her birth. After returning to England in 1821, the Nightingales had a comfortable lifestyle. In July 1850, she learned basic nursing skills, the importance of patient observation, and the value of good hospital organisation. In 1853, Nightingale wanted to leave her family home. She became the superintendent of the institution for sick gentlewomen in distressed circumstances in London, where she displayed her skills as an administrator for improving nursing care, working conditions and good working of the hospital. In October 21, 1854, in the Crimean War, in order to take care of for the soldiers properly, it was necessary that that had a good nursing supplies. Nightingale brought equipment with the money provided by the London Times and enlisted soldiers' wives to assist with the laundry. The wards were cleaned and basic care was provided by the nurses. Most important, Nightingale established the standards of care requiring such basic necessities as bathing, clean clothing, dressings and healthy food. They also helped with writing letters to relatives, education and fun activities. Nightingale herself wandered the wards at night providing support to the patients. This earned her the title of Lady with the Lamp. She gained the respect of the soldiers and medical establishment alike. Her com accomplishments is providing care and reported reducing the death rate. In 1855, as a token of gratitude and respect for Nightingale, the Nightingale Fund was established through private donations. 45,000 was raised by 1859 per at Nightingale's disposal. She used a large part of money to start the Nightingale School of Nursing at St Thomas Hospital in London, which opened in, in 1860. The school specialised in nursing education, making nursing a viable and respectable option for women who desired employment outside the home. Florence Nightingale was honoured in her lifetime by receiving the title of Lady of the Grace, the Order of St John of Jerusalem, and by becoming the first woman to receive the Order of Marat. Now we've got Florence Nightingale's interesting facts, hobbies. Daily life was spent seeing servants, entertaining guests, reading, sewing and attending social events. Florence saw something very different for her future. When she was 16 years old, she believed she had a voice from God calling to her to carry out important work to those suffering. She loved cats and had a pet owl called Athena. So now we've got a quick fact about the forest rain frog. Unfortunately, forest rain frogs are on the endangered list. The forest rain frog is classified as vulnerable, con considered to be facing a high risk of extinction in the wild. The forest rain frog is a species of frog in the microphyllid family. It is endemic to South Africa. Its national habitats are temperate forests, temperate grasslands and rural gardens. It is threatened by habitat loss. If you want to find out more about Florence Nightingale to, to bite size, thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.